Okay, hello everyone again. Oops. Uh, today we are solving day 13. Let's see if we could solve it faster. Oh. <laughs> <coughs> it's geometry, as it seems. Okay, groups of this size requires an increase to blah blah blah. Card scene from card. You map out tracks, you puzzle input, and see where you can help. Tracks consist of straight paths, curves, and intersections. Curves connect exactly two perpendicular pieces of track. For example, this is a closed loop. Intersection occur where two perpendicular paths cross. At an intersection, a card is capable of turning left, turning right, or continuing straight. Here, two loops connected by two intersections. Several cards are also on the tracks. Cards always trace face either up, down, left, or right. On your initial map, the track under each card is a straight path matching the direction of the card it's facing. Each time a card has the option to turn by running to any intersection, it turns left the first time, goes straight the second time, turns right the third time, and then repeats this direction starting again with left the fourth time, blah blah blah. This process is independent of the particular intersection at which the card has arrived, that is, the card has no pair intersection memory. Cards all move at the same speed, they take turns moving a single step at a time. They do this based on their current location. Cards on the top row move first, hacking from left to right. Then cards the second row move, blah 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 blah. Each of those moves is called a tick. Once each card has moved one step, the first repeats. Each of those loops is called a tick. Uh, what? They do this based on their current location. Cards on the top row move first. For example, suppose there are two cards on straight track. Uh, first, the top card moves, it is facing down, so it moves down one square, second, the bottom card moves. Okay. Uh, then the second card moves up, right into the first card, colliding with it, the location of the crash is marked with X. This ends the second and last tick. Here is a longer example. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. After following their respective paths for a while, the cards eventually crash. To help prevent crashes, well, let's see how they turn. So it's here, then it's here, then it's here, and it goes to here. Okay. Uh, after following their respective paths for a while, the cards eventually crash. To help prevent crashes, you'd like to know the location of first crash. Locations are given in six square of the First left column is X and the first top row is 0. This is the location of the first crash is 7, 3. To begin, get your puzzle input off. <laughs> okay. Okay, cool. So this is going to be a long one, I suspect. <laughs> Let's start. Oh, sorry, I didn't even start with the timer, I guess, but I don't think it will be necessary. Um, okay, yeah. Um, at least an hour, I think. So, it seems, it seems, there is n that there is no reason to to model anything smart because well it's feel like 50% right so it's probably we should just store this as it is um, yeah so maybe store it summary um Maybe parse it. I don't know. Okay, let me let me think a little bit. So uh, the first the first thing obviously we need to do is we need to read the map, right? The way we read the map, we basically just leave everything the same, except uh, tiles where cards are placed. Those will become just uh, straight paths, right? So 
we we have we want to have maps separately from from cards because map map doesn't change. Yeah. Okay. So the second thing that we want to do is. Oh yeah, it's it's it should be pretty simple actually. So we let me let me see. So we take lines. Oh, we can actually take input. Then we can just because it's a string replace uh, it like that. Well, we can replace maybe this would even be simpler. So there is like up and down, right? Mm, we replace this like that. Pipe and down is replaced as pipe as well, right? Then we split it and probably convert it to vector. Okay, vector, vector. What? How about that? Oh, huh. so, huh. still, it still doesn't like something. Get from this map, this value, if value is not there. Returns. Okay, we probably yeah, this is problem probably. No. Uh, this is a problem. Okay, let's see what lines are. Okay, let's <laughs> Let's take ten first lines, and we. Oh yeah, it should be like first, second, third, fourth, fifth. Let's take. And it didn't work. <laughs> yeah, of course, because because we should be doing this instead. Yeah, now it worked, right? So the carrot was right there, but it's not there now. Okay, so now we so we're going to use coordinates and the coordinates start with zero. Yeah. First we take line, then we take x, right? So track zero zero. Oh. oh. Yeah. What is this space? Um, yeah, so it's space, whatever. Whatever. Um Let's try to get this intersection, for example. So it is line 5, so it's 4, and column 30, so it's 25, 29, 4, 29, it's space. Hmm. Yeah. 
Yeah, because it's 29. Okay, so it works. Cool. Um, um, we probably can make it a little bit simpler. Yeah, it's not simple. Um, okay, so what are we going to do now? So now we have to initialize carrots, right? So, and carrots have cards, cards, sorry, cards. Uh, <coughs> and cards in this case they have state, right? Because <coughs> cards must remember where. Okay, so let's just def record card and it has position, right? It has direction. And it has last term or next term. And it has next term. Uh, basically, next term. Left, straight, right. Okay. So let's say we have some cards in there. So let's initialize cards, I guess. And we will have to sort them, right? So yeah, yeah, let's just let's just initialize cards, I guess. Yeah, so uh, def cards and what we need to do is actually read all this or maybe yeah yeah read all this lines or input what is the easiest way to Yeah, just uh, get our input, so like line, line y would be uh, split input x slash n. Oh, yeah, I need a function called zip. I have core, right? Yes. So this is a function that I really think should be in core. It's it's trivial, trivial of course, uh, but yeah, basically we are going to zip this with range. Okay, so this gives us a line and a coordinate, right? The next, we get a char and again a coordinate. Something like that. Now, when... Let's call a card or char. Yeah, we don't have a char. Yeah, so we have when... Uh, there is uh, like a set of of possible characters, so it's left, right, up, and down. Right, so either one of them. Um, in that case, we return. Well, this should be four cycles. So we return card with x, y, then direction, well, basically char, we don't need the additional, and next turn will be left. Okay, right, so this is cards. Okay, can it resolve card? Now we actually need to do this. 
Let's see. So there's card position 54, which we try just try to right. So x coordinate is 50 minus 4. Huh. Well, it's actually it should be 49. For Oh, it is for yeah, yeah, fifty-four. We, we are looking not for intersection, but for this card, right? And direction left, and next turn left. Okay, cool. So we have all the cards, right? Uh, we also we also need crashes, but we are looking for the first crash, right? Our task is to figure out the location of the first crash. Okay, cool. So. Let's write a function that will take current state of the cards and move each one in succession. Sort them and move each one in succession. But first, let's write a function uh, that moves one card. Right? So like that. So lines don't, don't change. Actually, track doesn't change. So. Um, Tracks doesn't change. Okay, so in this case, let's say, um, what do we do? So we, we figure out where this card can go, right? So depending on, okay, let's um, first uh, the Pause direction next turn. The structure is our card structure. Now we need uh, to figure out next chord, uh, next or next pause, and, and it depends on. Well, it depends on two things actually. If card is staying on an intersection or not, right? So yeah, but uh, this is sim simple to write. So yeah, there will be two conditions. If um, equals backslash plus uh, track of current pose, then con the so intersection always has four lines, right? Never three, right? There was four. Well, tracks are circ circular also. Okay, so okay, so the, uh, uh, in case, well, okay, so depends on our. <laughs> uh, let, let me see. Let me see. Uh, so it's gonna be x y as pause. Uh, so it's actually gonna be a case of two things. Current card direction and next turn. So if direction is it's it's character, right? So let's say we're handling the case where it's looking left first and we turn left. So we're going left and so basically it's X and increment Y, right? So if we're looking left and going straight, so it will be decrement X, X the same Y. Uh, finally, if we go right, so we're looking left. No, wait, yeah. So this is going to be decrement y, something like that. Right? Yeah, I guess so. And let's repeat it four times. So this is going to be if card looks to the right, this one is going to be card is looking up, oh, sorry, 
and this is going to be looking down. Okay, um, so if card is looking right and it has to turn left, so it's going to be decrement, straight is going to be increment, and right is going to be increment, right? If it looks up, so it's going to be decrement x, and same y. If it's going straight up, so it's going to be same x, decrement y. If it's going right, it will be increment x, and same y. Okay. And basically here we change if it uh, left, so it's increment, if it's right, it's decrement. And we're going to stretch it's increment. Okay, this is if it goes it's if it's on intersection. We will need this later, so let's leave it. Okay, now Otherwise, it's not an intersection, so basically we just can continue. Well, it kind of depends, actually. Yeah, fuck. It's going to be hard. <laughs> okay, but anyways, uh, we still have to go through a through couple of combinations. So basically, it's, again, it's combinations of where it looks direction and where it stands right so let's let's count our possible combination so let's say it looks left right so one thing where it can be standing could be this right so it couldn't stand on the vertical line another thing if it it could it could be standing on on a turn right so uh, this means it came from the right, right, and this means well, it came from the right as well. Too, but about the direction is different. Okay, so basically, in this case, we are going to have to decrement x, leave the y. In this case, so we came from the right, so we keep keep the x and increment y. I have no idea how I'm going to plan to debug this if something is wrong here. Okay, now uh, if we, uh, we decrement it. Fine. Yeah. So these are three possible situations. I wonder if I'm doing this right or not. No idea, actually. Um, yeah, here it will be decrement, and here it will be increment. Okay, now, now for the vertical movements, right? So in case we want to go up, so we can stand, stand on the horizontal, we can stand on the vertical. So if we just go up, so it's x decrement y. If we go here, so it's basically increment x and same y. And I guess in this case, we probably or can we be up like this? Wait. So it's like uh, vertical, then then this and it's horizontal, right? Can it be up? You can only come here from the left. Can come here from the up, right? Huh. But you can count both of those. Well, there's some symmetry. Or, am I, or do I not understand something? 
Um, so you're down here, for example, then you're down here, then you turn right, right? Then you up. Uh, no, let me stand here. And here you up. Huh. Yeah, let's let's draw a full full cycle. So you can be here, right? And from here you go left. Yeah, there is some asymmetry here, and I can't f really figure out why. Well, well, huh. well you can be d going in different direction, right? So you can be doing exactly the same, but in different directions. So, like clockwise, counterclockwise. So if you start here, like this. Here you're going down, 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 oops, oops, press this. And go this. Yeah, I can't figure out why why is it asymmetry. Why you can go to both of those? Like if you're going left, you can be in there, and you can be in there. If you go up, you can actually be in there and in there as well. Yeah, you can go up, right? So yeah, if you came, no, it's it's not the same. If you came from down, you go left. You go right. So you came here, you go right. Came here, you go left. Yeah, I, it's it's actually trivial. I don't know what else. I get confused for some reason. So here we grand. In this case, we grand, and in this case, we grand. Okay, this seems to cover all of our. Let's not uh, check for collisions yet. We will do that a bit later. So our our function just want to to move our card, right? So basically, we have to return a new card obviously not obviously card with next pose and then direction oh shit i have to i had to de return direction as well probably <laughs> <coughs> well yeah uh well direction is uh not hard to calculate but it just would be easier if i started Okay, what, what is the direction if you go left? So it's down, right? If you go left from the, if you go straight, it's left. And if you go right, it's up, okay? If you go left on this, it's up. If you go straight, it's right. If you go right from right, it's down. Mm -hmm. It would be nice to animate actually this. It would be really nice. I'm not sure I can pull this off, but it would be really nice to see it in action. Um, if you're going down, so it's probably 
this way. If you go straight, it's just down. And if you go right from down, it's left. Right? Why is it breaking? Okay. And same shit here. If we're going left, we go left. If you go left, we go down. If we go... I could actually compare before and after and figure out the direction, but never mind. We go up, we go right, we keep going right. If we go right, we start going up. If we go, we start going down. It's up, it's... Uh, to the right and to the left. It's down. To the left and to the right. Okay. The, um, so it's basically X, Y, D, and what else card have? Next turn. Next turn. Oh. Okay, yeah, this is simple. This is simple. If intersection, then we have to, to retain the next turn, right? So basically, well, if you start with left, we go. Straight. If we start with straight, we go right. If we start with right, we go left. And next turn. Right. Uh, if we are not at an intersection, we just keep next turn. Let uh, failed. Oh, huh, interesting. Why is it failing? Oh, I cannot do this. Oh, very strange. Okay, let's just do that. And then. <laughs> uh, okay, so this key has to be pause still. Um, yay, it compiled. Let's see if it uh, can move our first card. So it will be 49. So it was going left, so it's, yeah, it seems to be working. Let's see if we can, if I remember correctly, it stays right between before intersection. So first move would get, it got here, next move it got here. Okay, yeah, it seems to work. Uh, at least somehow, somehow. Now we have initial. Let's write a tick function. Well, it takes cards and it returns. It returns something else. Something else. Yeah, it takes cards and returns cards. Let's let's try it without the well without collisions it will be simple. So we have to probably write something like a loop. So 
So we need a set of all coordinates that are used right now. And we will have old cards. So then to move a card, right? so, well, not really. So yeah, this is tricky. So these cards must be sorted by okay. This is a beautiful use. I think it's a beautiful use of function just. So the first will be at, so we sort of by line first, then per by x second, so second y is second, and then first. This returns a vector. Vectors are sorted in order, right? So so we sort that. So we keep the order in which they must be like uh, visited. Now we have a we move the card. Um, So the tick, well, I'm going to throw an exception. Uh, if cohorts, this is actually, uh, no, it's, yeah, if cohorts contains po position of a new, our new card, um, well, let's say, Oh yeah, if cards contains a position of our new card, then I am going to throw an exception. Well, actually, we need to, to change cards. We need to to to, to first remove uh, our old coordinate from it. Disjoin uh, cards. Right. So if it contains a position or new, then throw exception at clash at maybe we need a step as well, but um, it's another story. Okay, so now we have a proposition where clash happened. <sighs> Otherwise, we need to recur. So we actually add new coordinate to, well, let's call it like that. New position in there, right? Then uh, next cards and conch new cards or modify card. Okay, so this is this is tick. Let's see if it throws. It didn't. Now let's so what we need to do is well actually we need to write a small loop. Let's do this. We have a function here to do that. We need to write a small loop that will be like step zero cards, cards, right? Um, if if step is bigger than let's say a hundred, we just stop. Otherwise, so it's not an infinite recursion. We increment step and we do tick on cards. 
I like that in, in the task, all the names are already there, so you don't have to figure them out, like tick and stuff. You want card and track, so you don't have to think too much about. So what I'm going to do is to print all cards here, but like well actually maybe format percent d percent d percent s So every step, uh, I'll be printing every step of the way, and I also need to print the step number. Right? Let's see. Now I want to, to run this in terminal. I get output. So it didn't get anywhere in 100 steps. So I probably yeah, let's see how fast this is. Let's see if it can do thousand. Or yeah. It can. Cannot be cast. Something cannot be cast. So in a thousand steps, we actually found 57, 103. Okay, let's try that. Let's try that. Actually, let's try this first. Okay. Let's try this input first. So this is our input, right? Huh. It's not working because those oops, those need to be escaped. Does and support not found here? Cool. Uh, well, in theory, we shouldn't we shouldn't need anything outside tracks, right? What? What's wrong now? Vertical line? Let's use vertical line. I didn't need to resolve it. Um, okay. Yeah, I need to wait a little bit again. Okay. So this seven three. Is it much our answer? Yeah, cool. Okay, so uh, that gives me hope that actually this is the correct answer. This is not the right answer.
This is not the right answer. Why is this the right answer? And we don't get the step number, right? Let's pass a step on there. Step of every fifteen. Do we need to? Visualize this or not? Okay, did we sort it every card? It seems that we did, right? So every every step we start moving moving cards. So there are either some tricky case in there. Well, we can print this, right? We can we can do that. Can we? Not really. We can clear screen actually. Hmm. If you can clear screen with bash syntax. Escape C, that's it. I have running timer escape sequences. So if I print zero, zero thirty three C, and just to clear it. Okay, so my theory is this. Let's try to print. Only cars, not tracks. Oh, well, um, <laughs> um, yeah, or not. So one possibility is that I fucked up somewhere in this map of like taking directions, and you can actually print everything and. See if I did or if I didn't draw a draw special. Type of map and see if it covers all the cases. Like let's say if I create a map that is like like this. I know I probably do is enough. Right, so I'm up like this. And then we can place exactly the same next to it. But we'll we'll put um, cards in different directions and so that will help us test everything yeah so here it will be going down and here it will be going up so for example the 13 test oops I didn't mean to 
is wrong. Test. Well, this is fun, actually. This is kind of fun. Um, so yeah, let's start with day 13. Maybe I'll lose cards. Let's start, start with test. Right. If we, uh, yeah, it, it obviously. Now, now let's try to print. Let's try to print. We we'll have to print cards and tracks. So we take cards. Again, we need coordinates of those. Now, next, we need to know how long actually. So y is well. Yeah, we need y with index, and this is going to be zip of well we need this right so, uh, probably like that the, uh, the only difference is here is do sec now yeah well we don't actually have the tracks right the tracks are Sequence of lines. Now I need to go over tracks. Tracks line. Yeah. Yeah. Let's just uh, print. How does it print? Yeah, it prints correctly. This is what I want. Okay, after that, we well basically on the start we have to print like um, backslash all clear screen. After that, we do this, we print everything, and we need to do flash. So this is printing without cars so far. So far, we are going to take, well, let's take 20 steps. And this is going to be print state, cards. That's right. Sleep. Well, let's say 250. Yes. <laughs> I forgot new lines. Okay, I forgot new lines. So we go over Y. Actually, there is like a new line, I believe. Yeah, it prints. So now we, what we have, what we need to do is to print. <sighs> Actually, we need not this, but four card cards. We need a map from position card to card itself. If cards x y. So if there is a card in there, we print its direction. 
direction card. Well, well <laughs> yeah, direction chords x1. Otherwise, we use that uh, four. Four. And here they are. So they seem to be doing all right, right? So the the next part of the test that I want to to check out. So basically, we need something similar like this. So I I, <laughs> I did make a, a demo out of it. So let's say we have a card somewhere in okay yeah um, I think this is enough to understand what's going on. So let's say a card is starting here. Oh no no it can't start here, right? How do they even get it into an in intersection? So this has to be an intersection. OK, let's try this one. Uh, let's see. Ah, oh, it got it. <laughs> straight to the left. <laughs> um, it went straight to the left. And if you put intersection here, it will it would go straight. And here it will go right, okay? Oop. Yeah, and then I try to go in there. So our task is actually to to somehow introduce this to the system and hope that there is enough space for maneuver and just just to make sure that Whatever needs to happen will happen. So it goes kind of it turns left, straight, right, left, straight, right. So yeah, it's kind of um, how you call it staircase, right? So this is fine. Let's see what happens. No, I probably should put it in there. No, require. So it seems to be moving right as well. Okay. Uh, if it starts upwards. Left, straight, right, left, it turns, goes here, turns left, goes straight, turns right, goes straight, turns, no, go to right and left. Left, straight. Left, straight, straight, right, right, left. Maybe I, I, I copied this wrong. Let's try to collide to some. Clash at step two at position three. So this is zero, this is one. This is zero. This is one. 
this is two, this is three. This wrong connection. It seems wrong. They are reporting the new position. What's what's what? How could this be possible? So, if card would be here, it would be zero, right? If card would be here, it would be one. Here it would be two, and here it would be three. They go from left to right. No. So the number here is wrong for some reason. For some reason. This is the last known good state, right? So in this state, everything was fine. It's previous state. After that, we're trying to move those cards. And in theory, we should be moving like, okay, let's try, let's just print here, like move doesn't print. Yeah, because it's tick and then clears the screen. Let's let's move this. No, uh, this is so. Um, so print the state that we to sleep, we print the stick. No, it's fine, it's actually. This is state that we started. Then we print every card that we're trying to move. Let's let me print cards, actually. As well. Okay, so there's 4.15. There's three fifteen. Well, this is this is the other way around. Or not. So this has the biggest Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I get it. I get it. I, I yeah. It's strange that the, the first example worked so. This, this is what we need. Now it's at 4.15, so we, we sorted cards wrong, so we, we, we took the wrong priorities. Okay, okay, I can see that. Now cards are first on zero row, then on row three, then on row 15, first three, then four. Okay, cool. Now we can actually oops, comment this out and I believe I have like normal terminal somewhere in there. Or we can connect. Or we can do this. Yeah, let's let's see our original example. So this should fit on the screen, right? 
and yeah, we take this, take 20 steps, and see why. Now, this is an original example, and we can watch. We can print cards in color also. Why not? Right? So. There are escape sequences for that, so like that. There is also something for background, I believe. Yeah, let's try just that. Um, how do we print them? Print state. And we also need to reset somehow. Let's like this. Now they are red, but uh, yeah, additional white space like that. And now they are red. Cool, and we should. Oh, what? Yeah, yeah, probably. So we don't see the, the crash itself. Oh, we could, we could actually. Uh, we actually could see it if only. So before throwing exception, or actually maybe we, we should catch it. The cards are ah, the cards are ah. the cards are ah. oh, basically our original cards without this one, or maybe with this one. So here, what we're going to do is to try to catch. state Oops. Now we're going to sleep Well, we can. No, no, we, we, we don't use step. Map literal should contain which map literal. So now we should be able to see the crash. So one of them moved, another one. 
was about to move right and that would end up in a crash mm. let's let's make cards and cash card If x y equals position of a card is crashed, we print it in red. Otherwise, we print it in I don't know green thirty two. If I use new, it would be not, not cool. This should be cool. So, so now they're all green. It was about to move. Right. Let's make it one hundred. Yes, yeah, so this one moved. This one wasn't able to move, so. Cool. Okay, so now, 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 what would happen if we try to print this system? <laughs> Nothing good. <laughs> um, so you should probably only print like first, I don't know, first 20 lines. Print states like when or there is actually a while do we see any car? yeah, we see one car and we know that we need to... Uh... well, it's pretty slow, right? what if we try to call that a real Real repo, like let's call in real terminal. I mean, let's call um, lane repo This is a real terminal, is it? This is a real terminal. Yes. 
this. And also this. Okay, now I can see the car is moving somewhere. And I also see ligatures. <laughs> it's a little bit confused. So there are, oh, as, as, there are three cards there. Yeah, ligatures are not great for this type of thing. And we got Neil. Okay, uh, we got Neil, but what we actually need is <laughs> to return print LAN crash at watch, right? Let me let me be return. Let's print forty lines, and also let's change the font here to San Francisco Mona, which is more squared. Let me see if I have it. Yes. Okay. Yeah, it switched. Okay, so in new space, full screen, require, let's see, no, this is too glitchy. So something is happening, right, so, somehow, they're moving. I need to figure out how to play in the background, so, can't see anything. Okay, let's let's check if this answer is correct first. So we don't spend extra time. That's the right answer. Okay, let's see how much um, time. So it's more than an hour, but uh, I took my time. Okay, all right. Uh, I like I, I liked uh, building this presentation. Um, let me figure out how to print background. Forty-one and forty-two. Okay. Yes. And maybe because I'm using like hundred millisecond, maybe we need a little bit more. I wish it had double buffering, but it's just terrible, right? Okay, now I can see them, but I don't like the color isn't right. Thirty sounds. Can I do that? And we don't see what crash happens. Well, we have the answer, right? We have the answer. The answer happens. The crash happens at one hundred four line one hundred four. So if we like, if we drop eighty lines, right? And took next twenty, next forty lines. It should work. You should see the part of tracks where actual 
Yeah, it seems correct. So somewhere in there, the crash happens. Let's wait and see. Oh, it's 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 beautiful and it's it's on sort of way. Maybe we should use like better symbols. There are box graphics and stuff like that, right? So if you use the, those. I would like to see where, so it's around, somewhere around here and probably in this area, so there's lots of car actually, cars right now. Oh, yeah, this is a cache. Okay, cool. Um, here is books drawing. This is the most normal one, like this one. Okay, let's see. Let's try it to type this one. Those are diagonals. Well, diagonals looks okay. What about just straight lines? Mm. Oh, what? I probably have to use diagonals. What about straight lines? How do I draw like straight lines? Yeah, what? This one. This one and this one. Okay, cool. So now, now we're talking. Now we're talking. Um, need a map, right? that maps every possible thing this track could contain to something else like this to this so we have horizontal vertical uh, cross and two diagonals right or something like that okay so horizontal vertical cross uh, Sorry, diagonal one and diagonal two. So we map those to books drawing characters. So horizontal line is a behavior one. Do they match? Okay, let's try heavy ones as well. Or maybe no, let's try light ones. Horizontal, um, vertical, intersection, diagonal, and last diagonal. Okay, right, and diff. Um, Like display. Well, actually, display is just a map. Just a map like this. Right. And we also want to. Well, I want to have cars drawn, right, at least with proper arrows. So what do we have here? We probably need to go to arrows. Oh yeah, let's try just draw arrows. I have some here, here. Here, here. Okay, this is display. I don't have any other special characters. Do I? Um. Yeah. 
happens if there is white space? What happens if there is white space? is complete failure. It is not working. Um, yeah, because obviously we need spaces, of course. Okay, but yeah, it's spaces or spaces, right? So. Um, space maps to space. This That's enough. Please stop. We should just kill the terminal. Yep. So, uh, diagonals aren't right. Diagonals aren't right. Hmm. Maybe there are like middle diagonals as well. Well, we should be using something like this actually, but we can't because. Can't. Because then we have to figure out which direction this goes. So let's say if we see this one, if we see this one, it might connect bottom or it might connect. Well, I'm going to do this anyways because. So let's say we have this one and we just need to check the track underneath it, right? So track at xy is vertical. In this case we have to return this one. Right. Well, what what if we? No, not, not this one. It doesn't align. It does align. Right. What if we print this one? Does it align as well? Yeah. Okay. Let's turn to this one. Now, if it returns and this happens then it's like that now I have two more cases like this so if you have this and track underneath it is vertical then this is this and if you have this Seems okay. So this. <coughs> so this 
this is going to be the most beautiful track visualization probably ever. Unless somebody did WebGL or something. But we we did it like easy way. Oh yeah, oh yeah, but now I have news somehow. How do you have news? So somehow not all can cover all the cases. Well, let's go to testing. So if you have a character like this, you have only two options, right? Either this one is vertical or this one is vertical. For example, in this case, or, or it could be, it could be a cross. Okay, I guess. Now, if I also change the line height of my terminal to be at one, this is what, how it's supposed to look, I think. Yeah, yeah, this is a proper labyrinth, I guess. But, oh, my cars are moving backwards actually. When it moves to the left, it, it draws arrow to the right. Well, everything is backwards actually, for some reason. Yeah, <laughs> I messed up here. Uh, it should be like this. Okay, and uh, yeah, obviously, we don't need this. Let's see, let's see, for some reason I'm, I don't see white, maybe I need white, 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 white. Background, height, and intensity, white, like 97. Uh, print LM link. I also need a green, maybe even. Set box, right? Not M, yeah. Not M. Well, sort of, sort of. Uh, it's still not white. Maybe in color scheme, yeah, I don't have bright white. Okay, anyways. Yeah, like my color scheme is kind of 
Maybe I should be uh, used by icon. No, no, no. Maybe I should have used like this. Yeah. Yeah, that seems better. We could also use like triangles or something for the cars. I feel like we can probably use car emoji as well. Hmm. Let's use triangles here. And let's use just that would not lose high intensity. But we're going to use like real triangles. Black to left pointing triangle back to right. No, no, this has to be left. Uh, this has to be right. This has to be up. And it has to be down. Yeah. Supported character and then, and then <laughs> let's put it in a string. Cool, but but car still travels back. C word as well. But it seems to work. Seems to work. I guess we had to wait till the crash happens. It's, yeah. No. Okay, I'm already happy with this. I don't think I need to clean out this. Oh, sorry, did you saw saw the second part? Is there a second part? Uh oh. There is also a second part, come on. So it's almost 100 minutes for now. So what happens if there are multiple crashes? Okay, there isn't much you can do to prevent crashes in this ecosystem, however, by Predicting the crashes, I also know where to be in advance and instantly remove the two pressure cards the moment any crash occurs. They can proceed like this for a while, but eventually they are going to run out of cards. It could be useful to figure out where the last card Okay, so if the crash happens, we just remove it. Okay, this sounds fine. It also means that yeah, we, can, we can totally do that. Uh, let's say we are not printing, right? We're not sleeping. We're not. Uh, oh yeah, we print status. Okay. So the part two. Okay, part two. 
we throw here, but instead of throwing, we could just remove, right? Step cards. Do we really need a step here? Probably don't. Well, we can actually try to catch this. We know the cards. We know the crash, the cards that crashed. We actually should return two cards that crashed, right? Because there are two of them. We just remove them. Yeah, yeah, I guess so. Okay, so, okay, let's see. So, this is fine. So, cards and crashed. Cards will be all cards. And crashed will be our current card. We just crashed. And the same as here. We probably need something like this. Without when when we need me. So this is gonna be a map, right? Course that is a map. Destroyed is the sock and here is a sock sock course position. Right, so we change set to map. Alright, and sort cards now what we need to do is we need to figure out if cards pause if some let's call it obstacle so if there is obstacle right well, on this coordinate uh, there is already a car. Um, we actually return just to crashed. We return this obstacle and return original card. And we use cards with a modified card to return original card. So basically, we will return two cards at different positions, but it doesn't really matter. Right, so we, we have to uh, take these cards. Well, actually, we can do it here. We can do it here. So we know that uh, new cards are safe. Uh, we already removed uh, card from cards. The only thing left is to remove obstacle. So it's going to be a concat of remove next cards and here we need a predicate that will be uh, so simply remove yes yeah, so those are cards those are removed ones crashed cards can crash and position at which it crashed right so if I calculated everything correctly well, we don't need to bring it so this is simply uh, okay Because I like this to be in a format that um, the system expects. Actually, don't need. The, well, yeah. Let's let's leave it as leave it as side card. Right. 
there's uh, also a trick that they don't recommend to use, but here it is. Okay, um, so let's move to, to the part two. So this is a little bit trickier because well it, it isn't really so curl curl no it isn't trickier let's step now we have to to do this I well, we have to do this. Uh, our recall wouldn't work, but well, what, what we need to do is what we need to do is well, yeah, we, we need to figure out next cards actually. Let, let's let's see that recall wouldn't work. I believe it wouldn't. Yeah, so we have something trickier here, right? So we can try to do this. Well, yeah. Oh, well, basically, yeah, if some, we'll try. Um, X camera catch exception D this Okay, um so we need a position, right? So yeah, anyways. Oh, before we start, mo start moving, yeah, well, actually there is something like this condition. If this is um, then it's over. If there is just one card left. Um, <laughs> so let's return the card, it's guarding. Yes. Oh, I can do actually this. Uh, it will be even better. Else. Else we try to. Well, else we just. Try to calculate those, etc. This or cards has crashed. Well, we don't care which one crashed. Well, let's print them at least. Crash. Crashed. Um, So we would know that some parts has crashed. And we also print how many are left. Okay. And we simply return this. This is our part two. And uh, let's see if. Well, let's calculate it. It's over. Okay, it's fine. Okay. 
Вот. Something is not right. In 200 steps, did I actually like, re-evaluate everything? Hmm. Maybe crash condition. Let's see if, if, if Art 1 still works. Yeah, Art 1 still works. This is really strange. Maybe I'm catching the wrong exception. Maybe I'm catching the wrong exception. Okay, yeah, now this, this is really strange. <laughs> oh, because I'm trying to. Yeah, because I'm trying to. Select some keys from crashed. Crash is new. How can crash be new? Can't be new, right? And there is tick. There is only one place when we throw. We throw exceptional info, right? Exceptional info has like three keys. Crashed in one of them, and it literally matches. Okay, let's see again. Um, it still has crashed. So, okay, so probably tip didn't compile. Damn it. Now we're reporting crash card in this context. Crash card. Never is 
usual single step. Okay, um, let's see. Now it should output something, right? It didn't finish. It didn't finish. Okay, I have to, to stop this. Yeah, it worked. Um, let me go next place. It's, it still reports zero. Now what's wrong? Now what's wrong? This compiles, right? So okay, let's let me So now exception is different. Um, cool. Now we have parity exception. Okay, I guess it warrants a, a proper import of what we are actually. This is needed so it doesn't mask uh, like real exceptions. Oh, yeah, around now amount of arguments past tick. Oh, tick step. And I remove step from there. No, this is only step, right? I still, still want to know at which step it all crashed. Cool. Um, yeah, now we're catching what we need to. Crashed, blah, blah, blah. Position, direction, V. Um,
Okay, I'll tell you if you have time. Okay. Okay, after 2000 moves like this. This is strange. I get how we can get from 11 to 9, but from 9 to 8. This is, this is probably a bug. Alright. So it wasn't actually able to properly remove a card. This is bad. This is bad. Okay, uh, everything else, everything we do relies on us being able. So we basically take next cards. So basically it's cards without this crashed card, right? Which has moved to pause and crashed. So we take next cards. Could it have moved, it could have crashed in the new one, right? So yeah, so we need to concat first and remove second. This is a problem. Okay, now, now we are properly, uh, properly removing cards. And if we add another zero, okay. Let's see if this is actually the answer they are waiting from us. It's not the right answer, okay. Um, it's not the right answer. Okay, we probably need uh, to test and test input. Oops, I placed it in the wrong directory. I hope this is interesting to you. It is interesting to me, but I have no idea how could you watch more than an hour straight. Um, yeah, let's do this example to right. acquire so it gives me a coordinate 4 4 it's actually 6 4 I, 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 I want at step We have steps somewhere. Yeah, we have step. Step twelve. Huh. Should I print and see what, what's going on? state isn't working for some reason, right? Why isn't work it working? Why is it working? It used to work, right? Where is clear screen? Okay. Flash is there. A print current state. We sleep. Then we do our calculations. Maybe we go back. Why is it printing? It should be printing. 
right? I mean, So I work something in print state. Possible. Excuse me. It crashes at step zero, but it still have to print something, right? But what? It crashes at step zero. Oh yeah, probably. But anyways, wait. There might be multiple crashes. Whoa, 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 whoa. There might be multiple crashes. Yeah, that's why it wasn't working. Because there might be multiple cars crashing into each other at each step. So actually, tick has to return not just cards, but cards and crashed ones. And we actually have to add like crashed here. And if you find obstacle, we actually keep going. We, we well, we don't put, we remove this crash, right? Remove the crash, we for sure do not include this card. Uh, we don't move it to the new cards either. But, but, but. Well, uh, Well, yeah, there are a couple of complications, right? So 
I don't know yet where to remove this card, so it might be from new cards. Might be from there. I know for sure uh, that into crashed we need to move cards uh, and obstacle as well. This disappears and and here we return. Put a new position, yes. Seems fine. Seems fine. We could crash and the card that has already moved. Yeah, we could. Okay, seems fine. Let's see if it compiles. Of course, it doesn't. Four, one. If everything is fine, we just recall with this. A sock. Next, new. Recurs to the same. Okay. So this is our new tick, right? This is our new tick. Let's see how it changes this. So. Print state, and then well, print state cards crashed. Okay, let's do this. Let's do this instead. So if uh, our safeguard here, it's over. Otherwise, let keys cards. Crashed tick, right? Oh, no, I don't like this. Okay, and if if crash didn't happen, we return. We actually recur next step and cards. Otherwise, we already print the state, right? Otherwise, we x, y. So we take a position of any of the car. We'll do a complex structuring. So I take the first one, ignore the rest, we take the key pose from it, and like this. Um, so we got rid of exceptions, actually, which is probably a good thing. Never use exceptions for control flow. Let's see if we can command this out. Let's see if it compiles first. Um, no, thank you. So print state now works. But can you please stop? Thank you very much. Okay, and if it only understands which 
просто выдвижник. Okay, cost can exception card can be delayed by TP. This is not crashed. Um, yeah, okay, yeah. This has to be like that. Okay, seems correct, right? Right. So let's start. Let's see what I can do about part two. Now, now that we have it figured out, let's remove print for now. So basically, what do we do? What do we do? Uh, now, if cards is one. So we don't do this, we instead do this. Yes, we print Something did crash. Let's print. Let's tap. Crashed. Okay, and it's even simpler this way. Then with exception. Um, Yeah, because this example, right? Oh. Now I know what is wrong. Let's see. Yeah, this is more like it, right? So let's put more. So the answer in our case is this. And this is the right answer. Okay. Uh, as usual, I'm curious how fast people solve this. Like, yeah. 44 minutes in the worst case and 13 minutes. So this, this guy is fast. Okay. He's definitely fast. Okay, anyways, anyways, yeah. Um, so I'm not going to well okay. Uh, let's say let's define a constant, right? Print state. So constant would be print state. Like Tip is great, display is great, um, def print false. Run print. So basically, this will on the print if you want to print, and it will also include. Okay, so we can actually safeguards. We made a step. 
actually this should be like this is. Here we what do you want here? Well we want to put it somewhere. Right. Yeah. And this part well let's let's keep printing everything, I think. Okay, cool, cool. So this is fine, this is fine, this is fine, this is fine. Uh, I guess everything is more or less fine. I didn't have like part one and part two. This should be commented. Yeah, it seems fine. I wonder what this is. Okay, it's an artifact of network file system problem. Okay, so let's commit this and this is it. So we commit everything related to day 13. Oops. Day 14 is has nothing yet. Um, core zip, yeah, obviously. Okay, this is, was very long and well, but I, I probably wasn't trying to get to solutions as fast as possible and enjoyed some, some time drawing uh, cool pseudo graphics um, but yeah 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 terribly slow okay interesting Pre relatively interesting task i think uh funny to call this all yeah okay see you next time i guess bye bye